Have you ever read reviews to try to determine if you're going to buy a product or service and end up being more confused by the reviews? Remember the eye of the beholder plays a big part. Something highly rated by one person can also be lowly rated by another. Try to analyze multiple reviews and pinpoint frequent tendencies to determine if a course is going to be a good fit for you. Remember, this review is my experience so far, and this is a review about Bo Crable's ORM wholesaling course. Now, there are many ways to make money on Amazon. Once I finally discovered a successful private label product, I decided to explore other ways and I decided to buy Bo Crable's ORM wholesaling course. A friend of mine bought it before I did and seemed to have some small success initially. So that was really the selling point for me to try it. Hi, this is Rochelle and welcome to multiple passive streams of income. Now, Bo Crable's course is mostly short video tutorials and really no fluff, which I like. Bo is straight to the point and maybe too straight to the point for total beginners. Since I have Amazon experience already, I didn't find it hard to follow, but I did see comments inside the course where people wanted him to slow down. Since I have private label experience, I did learn some things I didn't know, like how the buy box works with multiple sellers, how to verify products to ensure sales will be profitable using the BRS ranking with the Jungle Scout tool and Keepa, which is another tool that you can use to verify price history. Now, Bo also discusses how to locate suppliers to obtain Excel spreadsheets so you can run data through his analyzer tool, which helps you save a lot of time. So you can possibly pinpoint profitable products quicker and further research them to verify the likelihood of profitable sales. He also talks about ungating, which you will probably need in order to sell certain products on Amazon. So from that perspective, the course is good but there's a lot of things that Bo doesn't tell you. First of all, many suppliers don't have spreadsheets. Number two, Amazon sells a lot of good selling products, so it's almost impossible to win the buy box when Amazon themselves is competing with you for the buy box. Number three, ungating takes time, so to offer a 30-day money-back guarantee is really not a genuine offer. It's probably going to take you at least 90 days to really implement the course's teachings. So 30 days is useless. You also are going to probably have to get a reseller's permit and get ungated. And most importantly, find suppliers and products. And that's virtually impossible to do in 30 days. Number four, a lot of suppliers will not stick Amazon barcode stickers on individual products. So if that is a requirement for that product on Amazon, that's going to be an obstacle with these suppliers. A lot of suppliers don't even want to ship to Amazon. Number five, a lot of suppliers have large minimum order requirements. So for beginners, those suppliers would be too much of a risk to try. Now, Amazon isn't easy to navigate and it's always something you have to deal with. My friend has been dealing with issues with lost inventory. There's also crooked suppliers out there selling counterfeit items. So that can cause your listing to be removed or your account to be shut down. And some of these suppliers are not so easy to detect, especially as a beginner. In about four months, I've found a couple of products, but I actually found them by using my private label software Helium 10 and not by the techniques that are taught in Bo's course. And these suppliers have free shipping if ordering a certain amount, which was less than $100, which was great. So I could afford to have the product shipped to me and then I would apply the Amazon product labels to each of the products myself and then reship them to Amazon. Now I probably spent two months doing intensive supplier research. 
applying to all of the suppliers' websites, requesting spreadsheets. Most didn't have them. And the ones that did, I didn't find any products to sell because of all the obstacles I mentioned. That being Amazon already selling the product. Um, at that time, a lot of prices were gouged because of COVID and didn't stay inflated. So it wasn't really a truly profitable product to begin with. Suppliers weren't willing to apply product labels and a lot of product makers forbid you to sell their products on Amazon. So the list goes on and on as far as the obstacles that I face. So far, I'm ungated for groceries and topicals, but it took two attempts for groceries and it did only take me one attempt for topicals, but that's because I learned from the experience of trying to get ungated for groceries first. One of the products I was selling, I ordered a small amount, which sold out. So I decided to order a bigger amount. And that's when the manufacturer contacted me to ask me if I wanted a wholesale account, which of course I do. Now on the application, they asked me if I had a retail store and also wanted the address and the website for that retail store. So when I told them that I sell through e-commerce, they canceled the orders and refunded my money. His course also provides 24 hour email support. So you can shoot questions to his support team and get an answer back within a day. I never want to be critical of courses because a lot of work goes into making them. And I'm quite sure Bo has many success stories and many successful students, but so far the course hasn't worked for me. I had a few small wins, but each time the product became unavailable when the product maker discovered my purchases were reselling on Amazon. Now, if I bought this course for $197, I would say it was worth it. But for $997, I don't think his course is worth it, even though I will probably get my money back over time selling wholesale products here and there. Finding suppliers is time consuming and I still haven't really found a good one. Also, his analyzer tool is $39 monthly. So he's getting you for the $1,000 for the course and then $39 monthly for as long as you keep the tool, which is useful when you can find a price list spreadsheet. In my opinion, Bo has been doing this for a long time and he doesn't face the obstacles of a beginner. So I think he's a little bit out of touch with all the hurdles a beginning person has to overcome with this business model. Courses always seem to tell you the good things and never really tell you the bad things you're gonna face. And obviously many people are successful wholesaling and I do like his no fluff approach. But for $997, so far the course wasn't worth that, in my opinion. I will continue to try to find suppliers and products until I can make the $1,000 back. But at this rate, he will have collected $39 for the use of his software, probably by 12 months at the minimum. And that totals $468 more. So I will need to earn back a lot more money to break even if I keep his analyzer tool. Lastly, I just received an email yesterday that Bo added some new content to the course. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet, but I will of course. And if my results change, I will definitely create another video to let everyone know. Thanks for your time as I know you could be any other place right now. Take care.